Hey there! I was at a, a pen club meeting in Calgary and uh, my friend Murray said, have you ever reviewed this pen? I said, no. He said, aha. Boom, done. So he lent me this pen and now I shall review it for you. This is a Monteverde, popular brand. Uh, this is the. Uh, this was a pen in a uh, series. Series are, are called the uh, uh, Mountains of the World, and this is the Himalaya. I'm just going to say Himalaya. I could also say Himalaya, but I'm going to say Himalaya, and um, this is it. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample. I will tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Sorry, I was trying to do throat singing, um, but it didn't work. Uh, this is the great, no, sorry, Mountains of the World, Mount Everest, Monteverde, right next to a pilot parallel. I don't have a Lamy Safari right now, so that was your size comparison. Let's look at the parts of this pen. I, I don't have the box, but it's a Monteverde box. It's those green boxes. You, you may have seen them before, and otherwise check out any of my other Monteverde reviews and you will see that green box. It's, it's simple, but quite nice. Finial of the cap, same material as the rest of the pen. Here we have the clip. It has the Monteverde logo, and the clip itself is quite stiff. And we have no less than four rings, and there's number five. And of course, this material was chosen to kind of represent the, the snow on, on that mountain. So we have that. Uh, down at the bottom here it says Monteverde, and uh, on the other side it says Mountain. Take, I, I, I guess Everest maybe was easier to just create a whole bunch of these for the series of great mountains, uh, mountains of the, I don't know why I keep saying great mountains, but mountains of the world, and just just says mountain. Okay, um, pretty straight cap, barrel, tapers down, and ends in this metal end cap. The pen, the cap, sorry, unscrews, and then you have this cute little section uh, some sort of black, look, looks like black plastic, and then you have a little metal ring, and then you have the Monteverde logo. I've always liked the Monteverde ring. Uh, ring? Uh, uh, logo, sorry. Uh, you have the M and the V of Monteverde as a mountain range, and the little, uh, the, 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 the line of that mountain range actually uh, bisects the breather hole, which I think is just it, it's just nice, nice bit of detail. Monteverde is also actually engraved, not laser engraved. You have that same logo there again, and then it says Monteverde USA. You have a plastic feed. I always thought that the Monteverde nibs, number six steel nib. I think they're they're nicely designed. They're not bland, and I think that's really cool. Cartridge converter filled pen, nothing fancy about it. Can you eyedropper it? I wouldn't do it. There's metal down there. I, I, I just I just wouldn't. That's pretty much it. It's a nice pen. It's a cute pen. Uh, what I wanted to show you uh, before we start to actually um, uh, write with it is um, uh, the posting. So let's post it. Oops, there we go. Uh, it doesn't post I mean, you have to kind of do this sort of half twist thing. So I don't know if this pen was really designed to be posted, but if you absolutely need to, uh, then you, you can uh, uh, post it. Okay, a bit of writing. Off the world, um, Everest, right? The nib is a uh, steel nib, and it's a medium. Sorry, I forgot for a second. And the ink is just Waterman Serenity Blue. Writing is quite nice. Little bit of feedback, but overall, I find this pretty smooth. No real skipping, so that's nice. 
I find it on the fine side for a medium, I will say that, and as you can see it is quite dry. Line variation, as always, very careful. You can squeeze out a little bit, but it's, it's, it's not a flex nib, and I, it shouldn't be treated as such either. Reverse writing is possible. It gets a bit sharper, I can feel it kind of digging into the paper a bit, but for a few words you can get away with it, and you can turn your medium into a fine. Okay, there you have it. Let's see what I like and what I don't like about the Monteverde. Monteverde, mountains of the world, Mount Everest. What do I think about it? What do I like? What do I not like about it? I don't have many points about this pen. Here's the deal. It's a Monteverde. Monteverde makes affordable pens. This one is $65. I think that's a reasonable amount for this pen. It's an acrylic pen, it has a steel nib, and here's what I appreciate. I think that's a reasonable price. There's a lot of acrylic pens that I'm not talking about pen makers who turn their pens on a lathe, maybe on a smaller scale, and who charge $150, $160 for the pen. That is handwork. You will pay a bit extra for that. Plus you're supporting a small company, right? I like that. This, I think we can say, is a more mass-produced pen, but the cost is reasonable. I really think so. $65, I think, is pretty nice. I think there's a lot to like. I think it's quite pretty. The material is quite nice. Black and white, not the most vibrant of colors, but I think it's quite nice. And it's comfortable. It's a comfortable section, quite long, nice to hold, sort of posts, not super securely, but sort of posts if you need it. Number six nib, that's nice, that also means you can quite easily swap nibs, a lot of number six nibs on the aftermarket. I think it's nice. Things I don't like about it, well the medium nib in my mind kind of writes like a fine, is a little scratchy, but that's stuff you can, I mean you can't, well, you know, you could grind it, make it a bit broader, but let's, let's not get into that. You can make it smoother. It's not very difficult, there's tutorials online, you could do that. Maybe it's a little skinny. A little skinny, but that's a personal preference, so I wouldn't really complain about that. In all, for that price, I think it's pretty sweet. Right? You can find these as other pens in the uh, Mountains of the World uh, uh, series as well, so you can find your favorite mountain and you can purchase it. It's kind of neat. Nice, simple, unpretentious pen. And there is nothing wrong with that in my mind. A simple pen, and guess what? You open the box and it writes. And these days I sometimes think that's a miracle with fountain pens. So I think that's great. Mary, thanks for lending me the pen, I appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.